company has an anniversary, 150 years of innovation for a better world. And the key project amongst the Buller Group was to build this solar car and come here to Australia to show Swiss engineering at its very best. It's a delightful team, it's a delightful car, and I don't think it's going to go very far right now. Just a second, I can probably not sure. Next up. Next up from the land of oil, from Saudi Arabia, comes Siraj. The first solar car, another new team from the King Fired University of Petroleum and Minerals in Riyadh. And the car is inspired from the Arabic word for below. Wow. And I'm sure they'll be blown on the Stuart Highway. Unitech, where's my amazing? These guys are an absolute delight to work with. They openly admit they're here for a good time. Obviously they take the event seriously, but they've been trying to help our friends from India, who uh, are another new entrant. And it's been fantastic to see the cooperation between these teams. This is the second solar vector car that's going on here in Turkey. Next up we have Istanbul University, another Turkish team. We uh, were quite surprised to learn that there's 40 solar cars in Turkey and we've seen the best of them here in Darwin this morning. The team let me know that they were absolutely thrilled to be able to be part of this great international event and they built a much more aerodynamic uh, car than the previous one. It's our inspiration has come from the previous winners of the event and as you can see they're uh, serious about what they're doing. We invented stuff and then went to the world. I'm hoping we're going to see the South Australian car solar spirit. I can't actually see what's coming next. The inspiration for building solar cars has many motivations. The cars that we saw earlier in the piece are obviously built to win the event. They have but one purpose in mind. But the cars we are seeing now, this one and the uh, bottom car that we'll see shortly, are built to showcase some ingenuity of mankind in building a practical solar car. This car has three seats. Uh, it was built by the students at the Regency Park campus of Tafe SA. <laughs> and uh, we see them on their way. <laughs> Next up, we have a car from the United Kingdom, from Durham University, who have done extensive work behind the scenes with parametric modelling. <laughs> the team is quite uh, prides itself on the fact that they've done as much work as possible themselves from the carbon fibre of the bodywork to the soldering of the tabs on the cells and the, even the manufacture of the wheel motor. This is another car with concentrator cells, which you can see just behind the driver's cockpit there. <laughs> Next up we have Anadoli from Turkey. This is the third solar car from Anadolu and it's built by the best and brightest of the undergraduates at Anadolu University. I believe it's the third time we've seen them in this event and with that experience I'm sure they will have a very enjoyable time. Next up are the delightful young people from Principia in the US. Principia are a liberal arts school. It doesn't have an engineering department and its students from across all disciplines. 
the diverse backgrounds of the students are eclipsed by the passion of the team to find creative solutions to build a successful vehicle. Our 7S is the modified version of the previous car, and that is an absolute delight for the car to work with. And uh, one of their supporters managed to send me an email at 3 o'clock this morning asking me to wish them well, which of course I was able to do before the start. MIT, a very famous institution in the United States, Chopper del Sol, the 2011 vehicle, and uh, this, this is from the 2009 event and the evolution of what they did to be here. Next, one of the longest travelled T 